All right, I did it. Well, first of all, welcome to my channel. Second of all, I did it. I went, to, we went to the dollar store. By we, I mean me. Ryan was there, but he kind of like wandered off as usual. He needs like a little leash or something. So we, I went to the dollar store and I grabbed some makeup and I actually found a couple other cool things too. I went there basically to grab makeup and I wanna do a full face of dollar store makeup because I put on my Instagram story not that long ago where I gra I was like showing the Jonas Brothers makeup that was at the dollar store and I was just like shocked that it was there. And I was just also kind of like, what? Like the Jonas Brothers have makeup? Like, like why is it at the dollar store? Like so many questions, just like so confused. So I thought it would be fun and interesting to actually buy a full face of dollar store makeup, put it on and see what we think. Is it worth your dollar or is it not? Let's go ahead and check it out. We went to the dollar store and here's what we found. All right, so I've just drug Ryan to the dollar store and we're gonna check and see what they've got for makeup here. I think this is the same one that we actually saw the Jonas Brothers makeup at, so maybe that's something that we'll get our hands on today. We will have to find out. All right, we've got Smoke and mirrors, that's the perfect name for makeup. I love it. Ooh, we've got a highlighter right here. Okay, that's a bit gold for moi. Oh yes, I can shave my mustache. Yes! Is this our basket? It is now. There's ivory and brown. Good luck. Wait, how is that ivory? It's like yellow. Doesn't it look yellow too? There's also super eight. That's highlight. <laughs> I guess we'll go for that. Look at that fancy brush. HD angled eyeliner, quick drying. Hey, that looks like kind of like a nice shape actually. We'll just add stuff and then see what we actually want to get. Nail hardener, I need that. Metallic lip gloss. No thanks. All right, we've got some lashes. <laughs> Those look pretty nice. Got a bronzer. Uh, what is this? Well, I can see why that's a dollar. This is the weirdest lip gloss I've ever seen. It's like a pill pack. Let it pop it out. That's so weird. That looks nice. I'm seriously kind of impressed since it's here and it's only a dollar. That's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that. Oh, look what is still here. The options are limitless. There's a hot mess in there. Got them both. Why deny myself? This was behind me this whole time. I think we're covered with the Jonas Brothers. Twenty-one sixty-seven. Okay, beer break. Hang on. Da da da. Ninety-nine cents. I love how it says. 99 cents only. Like when they made that, they thought that they were really making a, making a commitment to like 99 cents only. And then when I was checking out, I was like, is that actually 99 cents? And then one of the things she was like, it's actually 199. I'm like, that is false advertisement. That's actually illegal. How have you not been sued yet? <laughs> Maybe I should sue the dollar store. Would that be terrible? First, I wanted to show you guys this because I was just shocked to see this like plastic um, storage organizer for a dollar. Or let's see, was this a dollar? Here are my receipts to let you guys know that I actually bought all this stuff at the dollar store. He was like outside barking. Hey, I'm trying to film, buddy. Are you being annoying outside? Whoa, whoa, my ass just almost knocked everything over. So hurt everybody. Are you being so annoying? What are you doing? Keep your tongue inside your mouth at all times. Oh. My eyes is dirty. Are your little eyes dirty? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. You need a bath. Now go lay down. Make yourself useful. Okay, okay, so see, wow. Not only is it not 99 cents only, but this was, I paid, I paid two dollars and 99 cents for this. Even so, that's like really not a bad deal because when you find these at Ross, they're like way more expensive. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, but I typically on my desk, I'm gonna show you guys right now because why not? I usually have this thing in my mirror sitting on top of this so that the mirror is high enough. <laughs> and I think I'll put this down instead because I can actually store stuff inside of it, okay? All right, so let's just go through what I grabbed and then I bought a couple extras just because options, people. We needed options. I mean, it is dollar store makeup. I'm scared. I bought two One Direction 
things. They went all out, folks. They did not only one makeup collection for the dollar store. Was this actually for the dollar store? I'm so confused. Like, where was this supposed to be marketed? Marketed at 2 dollars Like, just so random. Like, it doesn't fit at the dollar store because it ain't a dollar. So they, <laughs> I love this too because he has no makeup on in this. He's like, hey, buy my makeup. I don't wear makeup. You should trust me. I promise, buy this. It's great makeup. I don't know. This is weird to me. This is just so weird. Like, I'm not a hater on One Direction at all. Like, make your money. I get it. But like, this seems just like such a weird direction to go. They were like, oh my gosh, I've got the best idea, guys. We are gonna market shitty makeup, possibly shitty makeup, probably shitty makeup, to all of the young female fans that love One Direction. In theory, it's a good idea, but this I feel like this like, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. It kind of looks like the inside of like a locker. We've got, whoa, okay, a lip top coat. I swear like five years ago, a lip top coat was, wasn't a thing and now One Direction is making it in their 99 cent packaging. We've got nail polish, another nail polish, this beautiful applicator that's gonna give you the most precise and perfect eyeshadow payoff. And then we've got eyeshadows up here. Oh, it's so metallic. And then there's an eyeliner in there. There legit is only like shiny stuff. Can you see that on that coloring? How they only like, oh, right over here how they only put shimmer on the top, top layer, and then it's just this like ugly seafoam blue color. I feel cheated. How do you get this off? Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this packaging is pissing me fuck off. There's a stencil decorator set. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Why are like the stencils here though? Like what are you supposed to do with those? Like it's not, decorate yourself, your stuff, your friends with One Direction doodles. So we've got nail polish again. We've got volumizing mascara. What, what is going on with this wand? What is that? Do you guys see what I'm seeing right now? What do you do with that? What's happening? What's happening? This is like so dried out. Ew, I'm not even putting that on my eyes. Like I'm I'm not I'm not trying to lose my vision. Then we got a little eyeshadow palette situation. This is like wet. Yeah, and then there's just glitter on the top layer, <laughs> like the last one. You know, who chose these colors too? Because we got like a random orange and then like this pink. There's the lip gloss. Oh yes. Liquilites glow gloss. Okay, and then we've got lipstick. Let's try this out. Let's just see what happens. Ooh. Then this is an eye and body crown. I really don't know why you would want like a brown body crown. Like it's just gonna end up, whoa, that's terrible. It's like pulling my skin. Ew, it looks like a crayon. That's so disgusting. Pretty sure we know how that's gonna go down. Okay, I got some eyelashes. These were all 99 cents. I got some ivory foundation powder. There was literally ivory and brown. Not very inclusive 99 cent only store and smoke and mirrors makeup. I got a perfect sheen bronzer. I feel like this packaging cost them more than the makeup did. So apparently this is like the only company that like sells makeup at the dollar store. I found a couple other things, but not much. This is matte, a matte lip gloss. How is a lip gloss matte? And there was like pretty much no options for lip gloss. So I just got that. We got, Mascara, this is a different brand, Aziza Studios. I also got this Aziza Studios um, Luminous Color Long Lasting Natural Glow. I just got this for myself because I thought that you guys should see the best results ever and I would have to shave my mustache first, so there it is. We've got a little eyeshadow quad here, some blush with a little blush brush, how helpful. And then we've got, this is an HD angled cat eyeliner. I haven't worn like liner on the top of my eyes, like a cat eye in like so long. Maybe, maybe today is the day, maybe it is. Let's just do this. Please help me, baby Jesus. I hate to say it, but I will be very surprised if any of this is any good. I mean, like, I just, how could you possibly put something, like make something that's meant to go on someone's skin that's only a dollar. I do love that SM um, says not tested on animals back here. I love that. This is like a nice shade though. I like that. I forgot to, did I share this highlighter? I forgot to share that I think. This was like the only highlighter that they had. It's like mermaid scales and it's gold. Oh. 
horrible. All right, so I didn't find any concealer, so we're just gonna use this. Look how, like, what is happening? Come out. Has an interesting, like, texture. What just, what just, what just happened? What? All right, this is gonna be, this is gonna be really interesting. Someone's actually coming over to my house tonight and I don't know them very well. And uh, this is gonna be interesting because my makeup's gonna be looking hot. Maybe I'm gonna be surprised, but based on this swatch that I just did of this, I'm just like, what is the, I'd rather wear nothing. What is happening? Nothing, it feels like, like the, like an even, like I have tinted moisturizers that cover more than this. It smells disgusting. It smells like a box of crowns. Okay, literally, we're just gonna put this all over the face right now because I really don't feel like it's gonna be doing anything. It's like I'm putting moisturizer on, like what's happening? I would have given up on making a 99 cent store makeup line by now. Okay, look. Can you tell which side I put it on? Cause I like honestly can't. This is so brutal. I thought it would be better than this. It literally said full coverage on it. Long lasting. Like what? Oh my goodness. This is like the real no makeup makeup look. Hi Leonidas, hi baby do. You're just gonna jump right up here, are ya? Is that what's gonna happen? You're just there, whoop, there you are. Bye, buggy. Honestly, like I can't even see where I put it versus where I haven't yet. Okay, there we have it. All of our foundation is is on. All right, so we're gonna pop over to the foundation, powder foundation, ivory. I don't understand why this is yellow. It's like a banana powder. All right, whatever. We're just gonna go for it. Let's just, it smells like a crazy amount of baby powder and perfume. Okay, it's yellow as all get out, but it's giving me more coverage than what I just had on there. But it's it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Like how did I even get this much fragrance in a powder? Like that's insane. I also feel like it's gonna be gone after one use. Oh boy. Besides how off like the color is, like I don't hate how it looks on my skin. So we've got that going for us. You just gonna sit on my lap? That's something new. You don't usually do that. Oh, I just got lip gloss all in Leo's hair. Sorry, bud. We're looking real good. I can't believe how scented this is. It's crazy. You know the crazy thing too is like this One Direction stuff, like this is your palette, this plastic thing. Like the, this is not an eyeshadow palette that you can pull out of here and like you're gonna keep it in this tin and that's how you're gonna use it. So I guess that's, that's what we're doing today. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy right here and put it on the lid. So all the like sparkly is like gone and it's just like matte there. So there's no more shimmer left for the other eye now. So now I'm just getting like gray. All right, I'm gonna move over to this other little eyeshadow palette and see how we do here. I'm just gonna like, swirl these two and try and get a little bit of payoff here. It's not horrible. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. There's a little bit of pigment there. All right, this one's not terrible. Like, it's not great. It's not looking so hot, but it's not awful. Like, if you had to use it. It's hard for me to concentrate because that foundation literally did like nothing. So it's like all splotchy and powdery and gross. My uneven skin tone is like still peeking through. This One Direction stuff is like disgusting, like absolutely disgusting. I can just say without a doubt, everything in this One Direction situation is like awful. I'm starting to just look like I'm dead though. Like honestly, it's, it's kind of creepy. Okay, so now we're gonna use that HD angled cat eyeliner and see if we can't, I don't know. Oh, this thing's kind of hurting my eye. <laughs> it's like so hard. This isn't horrible. Like you can make it work if you had to, but it honestly it's kind of just hurting my eye. Oh, I've never been so grateful for good quality makeup in my life. <laughs> I haven't created a winged eyeliner with like not a liquid, like a like an actual crown kind of like 
eyeliner since I was in like middle school or high school. Okay, I did some brows off camera to try and help our situation out a little bit, but I still just feel like I look like I have dark circles under my eyes right now. And this little foundation is just like not covering any of it up. I just, I feel like I just made it worse. Wow, we're just, I'm just, I give up. I give up on that. I am gonna try the black eye pencil from the One Direction kit. Okay, looks gray. Might as well make it look like we have even more bags in our eyes, right? Okay, I don't hate this, but like, how do you screw that up? I mean, anyways, so. All right, we're gonna put these lashes on right here. They look good, like they look like Ardell, like normal lashes, you know. While the glue on the lashes is getting tacky, we're gonna go ahead and put on the uh, Aziza mascara. Okay, I hate this one just by looking at it. But let's not judge a book by its cover. Let's let's see. So this is supposed to be volumizing and lengthening. Is anything happening at all? <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. There's really nothing going on here. Let's get some more on here. That's a bit better. Okay, this mascara pretty much sucks. 1,000 layers later. All right, we're gonna put these lashes on. These are, say that they're handmade, lightweight, and comfortable. How do they pay for the packaging and sell these for 99 cents and pay somebody to hand make them? Like, that seems insane to me. These aren't bad, like, I don't hate them. Like, they look like super natural, like, whatever lashes, like Ardell lashes and stuff that you'd be paying, like, five bucks for, or whatever they are. Lashes are on. These aren't terrible. I, I would wear these again. Like I don't really wear super simple lashes often, but like if I was going to, like these aren't bad. Next we have bronzer. I feel like this is gonna be really interesting. This pan is so thin. Um, it's gonna be interesting because we're just gonna see how this blends out. There's a bit on the brush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe some of that off. It's so scented again. It's not awful. I mean, wow. I mean, compared to like, Anything compared to this foundation right now is like, wow, amazing, pretty much. But like, this is blending out okay and stuff. Like, the shade is nice. It's like a nice between like too warm and too cool. It's a, it's a good shade. Still can't get over how yellow my face is right now. So I'm gonna do my makeup exactly how I normally do it. This makeup's not getting any shortcuts. Let's contour the nose. I was grabbing for my Ofra highlighter. No, we're gonna use this one. This one's very yellowy. If you wanna see this in comparison to like one I wore the other day. It's very, very yellowy. It's also really chunky. Like when I did a little swatch, it was like coming off in like chunks, almost like flower. I don't know how to describe it. So we're just gonna go right in with this. It's actually kinda pretty. Wow. Dang. How is it that a brand sold at the dollar store can nail a good highlight and then some other brands can't that are charging like way higher prices. This is actually pretty. I thought it was gonna be way too gold, but like when I have a nice tan, this could this could work. Once again, super, super, super scented. I don't like the scent at all. So it's pretty, it's like really quite yellow for me, um, yellow gold, but I feel like this this would look really, really beautiful on someone with like really tan to deep skin. I think that would be really pretty. Moving over into blush, we've got this Aziza uh, blush pack. Actually, like if I can get it open, I really like the shades going on in here. Like they're pretty, like I would swirl these together, which I'm gonna do right now. It's not very pigmented, but it's a little bit. I mean, you can see a little bit. Not very pigmented. Like those are the swatches that I just took from it. Yeah, super not pigmented. So there's one thing left to test out here, guys, and that is this super mysterious, super odd matte lip gloss. I'm intrigued. The packaging feels like the cheapest packaging that could ever possibly be made, of course. This isn't bad. The shade's not, I, I like the shade and this isn't absolutely horrible. Like the pigmentation's actually pretty good. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that at all. I forgot to shave my mustache off, whoops. I actually really like this. And what they meant by matte lip gloss was 
This is a matte lipstick liquid lipstick. <laughs> That's what they meant here. All right, our dollar store face is complete. Now, what did you guys think? I was a little shocked at how awful the foundation was. The powder saved it a little bit, but it still isn't great. And the fact that they only had two foundation shades, period, there was ivory or brown. I'm also sorry, but like, I don't know what brown means. There's so many different tones of a brown skin tone that that makes absolutely no sense. I'm actually almost offended for people that have darker skin tones because like, how I don't know, how are you gonna say that? Anyways, so I there are a couple things I actually would use again, and I think that were a good purchase. I mean, it's only 99 cents, but the um, lipstick is, Obviously, I haven't worn it for any length of time, but it feels really thin. It doesn't feel like there's a whole lot on my lips, which is really nice. I really like the shade. Um, so that was great. And it's not lip gloss. It's actually just liquid lipstick. That's what they meant by saying like lip, matte lip gloss. Like that makes absolutely no sense. I don't know who approved that. Um, the eyelashes are good. I would definitely buy these again. Like if I'm over there, I'm definitely gonna go pick up some of these 99 cent like natural lashes. Like why not? They look great. Um, the band was also really, really thin. So super easy to hide. Love that. The highlight was like actually like, okay. Like I wish there was more shades of it. Like I'm not a huge fan of this gold on my skin tone, but it went on really nice. It looks really pretty. And so I was impressed with that. I. Don't hate the bronzer either. I think the bronzer actually turned out really good. Had we had a better foundation to put everything on, I think we would have been better situated for a better look overall, but not mad about the bronzer. I absolutely hated the One Direction makeup. I think it's absolutely atrocious and horrible. I wouldn't touch that again with a 10 foot pole. Like it's literally gonna go in the garbage when I'm finished filming here. Um, the eyeliner was not awful, but I definitely would not use it as a cat eye. I think it could go like under the lash line. Um, what else? The blush was pretty pigmentless. I wasn't very impressed with that, so I definitely wouldn't get that again. So, so yeah, there you have it. There's uh, my thoughts, and this is how the 99 cent uh, face challenge worked out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Have you ever purchased any dollar store makeup? What did you think about it? Did you find anything that was absolutely horrendous or anything that was really good? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's hope for any of us at any other dollar store. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Bye.